Hello friends, it is the 15th day of the month, so we are going to delve into Proverbs, the 15th chapter, and look at the first verse. But first, I want to encourage you to subscribe, to share, and to like this particular channel. So we want to look at what the uh, first verse says, we said in the 15th chapter, and it's talking about arguments and really how to just cut down on that. You know, the best way to keep a fight or an argument from escalating is to respond in a tempered voice, in a measured voice in a soft um, tone and not to raise the level of your excitement to match what the other person is doing and I understand that sometimes um, emotions flare up and you know sometimes things get out of hand but it doesn't have to continue that way it, a fight or an argument doesn't have to go into um, an explosion and an explosion doesn't have to turn into a battle and a battle doesn't have to turn into a standoff like the Hatfields and the McCoys. You know, there has to be someone who's kind of the adult in the room and the adult about the situation, even if things are contentious. But, you know, when the other person is yelling, um, I encourage you to just answer with a soft answer um, or with a soft tone, I should say, and and stand stand your ground. Don't back up. You know, keep your stay on your point. But just you know, I understand. I hear you. I know what you're saying. Um, that kind of tone. The best thing that comes to mind. I know this comes to mind is the R. Kelly interview when Gail King was interviewing him, and he was up and he was raging and he was upset because of everything that was going on. And she sat in her chair and she said. Robert, that's what I'm talking about. To, to speak in that kind, still, stern, soft voice that brings the other person down a notch. And she did it perfectly. I encourage you to try it. With the next issue that you have with someone, if they're up and they're railing and they are at 10, I encourage you and I dare you to do it and then come back and um, put it down in the um, comment section exactly what happened and what the outcome was. We all want to hear it. We all want to know. So do that for me. But you can turn away wrath and just keep things from going um, out of focus. Those grievous, mean, and hate-filled words, they can stir up anger. That's what this verse is saying. But it also says that a soft answer can keep away contention. It can keep it low. So try it when somebody is doing that. You know, they will, your, they, your tone that you give them, it will subconsciously, they'll start trying to match your tone. It may not happen um, in the beginning. You got to let them kind of get the flare out. But when it starts to fizzle, you come in with a softer tone after they've kind of gotten the, you know, the brunt of the fire out of their mouths. And um, I guarantee you that that tone will come down and they will match whatever you're giving them. I dare you to try it. So here is your pearl of wisdom. Take control of any and every argument or place of contention that you find yourself because the soft response will change the atmosphere of that conversation. The soft response will change the tone of that conversation. And you know what? You can do it comment and tell us how it turned out. Listen, we want to encourage you again to share, like, and subscribe to this channel, and we will see you next time.